Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you're well. We're back in Pine Valley Zoo today and we're going to be working on our lynx habitat once more. Uh, last episode I spent the entire episode building this underground viewing area here. So it was quite, uh, quite a small area but it did just take me a while. It was a bit of a, a complicated thing to add. Um, but yeah, I really like how it turned out. It's probably not finished in here. I feel like I still might do some more detailing in here. Um, possibly some plants, like a plant pot or something here, just just to try and give it a bit more decoration. Um, in fact, what I might do is add some more of this actually on this wall here, if I can. If I can do it in such a way that it doesn't completely cover up yeah so that it doesn't completely cover up the sign i think that works pretty nicely like that can i get any more down here let's have a look i don't mind the sign being a little bit covered up like it's just got a bit overgrown make sure it's not looking too silly outside no there we go yeah that looks better doesn't it an immediate improvement so this episode i'm basically just going to crack on with lots of detailing in this habitat uh, mostly on the outside but I'm just going to start in here just for a minute just while I've had a thought of what I want to do <clears throat> uh, so I've not had any feedback from my, the last episode where I built this I actually recorded that this morning this is now uh, Monday evening that I am now recording this episode uh, got a bit of spare time uh, my girlfriend's watching something on telly that I don't watch so I thought I would take the opportunity to uh, come and do a little bit of recording try and get an extra episode done I'm not really sure how much time I'm going to get over the next couple of days so I thought I'd make the most out of it out of my time now um, but obviously it means I don't know what you guys thought of uh, the previous episode hopefully you liked it particularly uh, Stephen who actually suggested the idea for this in the first place Right, um, let's get some nice flowers in here. Actually, hang on, let's think. Realistically, would flowers grow in here? Possibly not, it's a bit dark. Okay, let's change that. Let's try and find something like uh, some bracken that actually would grow in here. There we go, let's get a bit of bracken in there. And maybe, um, is there, hmm, not so sure that that's really going to do anything. No, okay, I need something, um, something to put up the wall at the back. How about some ivy? Now this stuff dangles, doesn't it? Yeah, I can't really put that going upwards oh, hang on what's this one no see they're very nice pieces but they don't really work in here although actually do you know what that look it does look really nice like that doesn't it yeah I do I do really like that in fact I could I could, oh yeah look at that this new ivy is lovely isn't it it really is it's a lovely, lovely piece. So I'm going to use it. I'm going to spread it around a bit, get a few bits here and there. I love being able to combine pieces together like this as well. That really works. And we'll just detail this back wall a bit because it's, whoops, didn't want that piece there. Oh, hang on, did I just, yes I did, hang on. Let's get that back in. Right, I want it on this wall. <clears throat> I want it there. There we go. Um, yeah, this this kind of detailing is is all you need in this sort of area just to really finish it off. Um, let's get what have we got? What's this? This is a very small piece. I have to just keep on finding the right pieces just to keep the look different you know uh, and obviously building underground like I, I said before you can't really have flowers in here because they wouldn't grow 
so you do have to be thoughtful of exactly what you're putting in uh, let's try and vary that a bit and then let's get one of them over there excellent there we go I'm happy with that I think that looks much better just that extra little bit of detailing I'm not going to do out here yet because that will all depend on what I end up doing over here so I'm leaving that for now uh, let's come to the outside actually now I wanted to put a little frame on the window just something really basic yeah just just this this is all I need I just I don't know why I just felt like I wanted a little wooden frame on here around the glass simple as that top and bottom and then on the sides as well whoops hang on no oh, I'm not going to highlight it now am I come on there we go right angle snap back on yeah so little little things like this I think they <clears throat> excuse me they do make all the difference they just sort of finish off um, bits like this that you know I just feel like it it needs an edge I think that reaches all the way yeah excellent right let's bring that over to this side as well something like that and I oh, can't quite see where that one is I think that's about right and then let's bring it down try and match it up with the other side bring it along and take it up and there we have it yeah just just an, an extra little detail just finishes off those windows I think excellent okay so foliage is probably the next big thing to start on actually there's going to be a bit of rock work let's do that around our cave entrance ivy drop what's that let's try that again just drop get into our rocks I'm not sure which of these rocks is actually going to work on here I think yeah this this kind of thing try and mix it up a bit uh, I don't mind if some earth is showing through as well but on the whole um, no it's really tricky this kind of thing because I don't I don't entirely know what look I'm going for here I don't really want the whole thing surrounded by rocks I want it to kind of look like the rocks are just poking through maybe just supporting the earth you know yeah something like that maybe just a little bit more there okay let's yeah let's go with that and then let me just actually just while I'm here just check that I haven't messed up their traversable area there no they can still get in and out can't they good okay that's cool um, so yes yeah, someone suggested having some of the um, the pine trees kind of leaning against the entrance so I am going to try that um, probably dead ones I think if, if any of them will work I think it will be the dead ones just as a kind of a, a bit of a block almost I think is, is the idea just so that it kind of looks like the entrance is a bit more hidden you know I, I don't mind it I kind of like I like the idea that's why I'm giving it a go I, I do like the idea that you get all these 
um, these trees kind of covering up the entrance a bit and disguising it. I will have to keep checking yeah, that they can still get in. That's always going to be the main issue here. <clears throat> but I'll, I'll keep going. Okay, let's try that. Yeah, good. I think that's as much as I can do, really, um, to kind of hide that a bit. I quite like that, though. Let's see, what would you see from down here? To be honest, from down here, you don't really see it anyway. You see it a little bit from over here, but not a lot. But that does just give it that little bit of extra shelter as well. So that's cool. Um, yes, a good idea with that. Thank you. Let's get back to our usuals then and see about getting a bit more foliage around this entrance as well. And I know I'm repeating myself a bit with these, but these these bushes are, well, they're my favorites. And they're just brilliant, brilliant little bushes. They just cover everything. They, just, they do so much for so little and they don't obstruct traversable area. Um, so they are, they are a wonderful, wonderful piece. Yeah, I really do like them. But I do want to have some other bits and pieces in here as well. So I'll go with some of this other stuff here because this, this is really nice as well, this crowberry bush. Um, and you can, you can kind of layer it up and make it really spread and look like it's, uh, it's sort of one massive plant. Let's try and get a bit buried into here somewhere. Maybe just poking out the side there. Excellent. Yeah, I don't want to go too over the top with uh, with foliage around here. I think that's looking pretty good. It does look quite sort of overgrown and wild now, doesn't it? And I love this. Look, we've got our little lynxes walking up and down our fallen trees here and sort of getting lost in the middle it's exactly how they would be in the wild just hiding in the undergrowth lurking right i suppose i should look at our stream how am i going to decorate the stream i do want to get a bit of color onto the stream i love this one i think this actually looks good next to water as well so I would definitely like to get some of these in here somewhere. I don't even mind if they're right down kind of in the water like this. I think uh, I think it, it can work. I'll, I'll get some over to the edges as well. Um, but I think kind of sunk into these rocks, I think can look good. Try and really make it look like a wild stream where little little plants have seeded themselves in the rocks and all the little cracks and crevices um yeah i think uh i think it can look good as always though you can be the judges i'll get some bushes around here as well though of course it's not just going to be flowers you always need a good bit of thick foliage around uh, this kind of thing. Let's get a nice big patch of them in there. Yeah, lovely. Okay, that's good for that. I don't want to go over the top. Um, I, I do want to put in some of these as well. These are sea hollies. And I, I believe these actually can be grown in water. I might be wrong. But I think they're pretty resistant to uh, to being waterlogged. Um, of course, the other thing we've got is papyrus, which I could put in, and that is a, that is a water plant, so that would definitely work around here somewhere. Um, let's get a, a patch right there. Right, where's the papyrus? I don't know if that's 
one of these flowers or if that's classed as a bush yeah I can't see it there yeah here we go yeah so this this stuff oh look little links checking out one of our little flowers that we put in yeah so this this stuff is a uh, water plant papyrus papyrus this is this is uh this is what the ancient egyptians used wasn't it they they turned this into their sort of paper for writing on which i'm sure you knew already but you know some people don't know these things i like to educate if i can well, there's a massive bit there let's get that up there still got to do a whole load of detailing up this end of course but for now I'm, I'm kind of trying to finish off actually in the habitat and then I can go around the outside and finish other bits and pieces off okay that's that's the stream looking decent down the middle I do still want to do some um, some foliage around the outside I need stuff that's going to show up oh that looks quite good doesn't it Although actually no, because that looks really dry. Being next to a uh, a stream it doesn't really make sense that it, you'd have dry stuff. Tell you what, I am going to need. I, I I wanted to get some thick stuff, didn't I? Up and down the uh, the side here. So let's do some of this in here. I think yeah, this this kind of thing all the way down this this side. I think will look good. Uh, let's get some right down on the rocks here let's see what else i can find it's quite bushy yeah this kind of thing as well don't don't necessarily need it completely covered you know i don't i don't mind if the animals can kind of kind of see each other a little bit um again and, and the people as well i don't want to block the view from here completely but um yeah, just, just a bit of cover here and there. Maybe just one of them there. Yeah, I think that's that's good. Don't want to go over the top with that. Um, I still do want some other bushes though, particularly over on this side. So maybe a bit of this. Let's come up here and get a few dotted around as well again not over the top I certainly don't want it to look too busy but I do want it to look wild uh, I'll, I'll, I'll worry about the stream for now look we've got all three of our links over here at the moment that's nice um, what's this one no that doesn't look very good I could get a little tree no that's too big um, what do we got? Oh yes, this is a nice bush. Let's get one of them right hanging over the water there. I think that's just about in the ground, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, let's maybe get one just under this tree here. I will check the traversable areas as well, but I don't think any of these will affect that as far as I know. Um, I do love this little one as well. It's very similar to that one, but just a slightly different shade. Let's get a couple of those in over here. And one up there. <clears throat> yeah, okay, that's looking decent now. Uh, you know what it's missing, of course, don't you? And I can't help myself. I, I cannot do water without having some fallen logs resting over it it just i don't know why it just to me it doesn't look finished until there are some logs lying across it i can't help myself basically that's what i'm saying it's very hard to try and make that look particularly natural but yeah I like that that's good I won't do any more just the two I think I think that looks fine do you know I might just angle this one a bit more 
actually just to really make it look different to the other one they were just a little too similar I think let's do that and then let's just move it across a bit and up a bit yeah that's better looks a bit more natural right now let's just check their areas yeah see so they can't massively go on the stream anymore but they can still get around these logs do really block them off unfortunately but it's fine they can come up here um, they can still come up the top here and they can jump I guess over to these bits they've still got plenty of space so I'm not too fussed I, I you know I want the habitat to be usable but I also want it to look good and these logs do look good it's just a shame that they're not climbable like the the living trees if these ones were climbable it'd be awesome because you you could use them as little bridges um, whereas obviously the the living trees don't look very good as bridges so anyway that's that's our stream done I'm really happy with that I think that looks pretty cool um, I will finish the top off at some point right I'm not done up here yet I wanted to do some more bracken up here I'm a big fan of bracken and it definitely suits the look of this area so I'm just going to get a whole load of this stuff in here because it's nice and flat up here whereas the rest is very hilly so it won't really work there we go that's all it needs don't again don't want to go over the top with it I want to keep this bit nice and cleared because this is where the animals will come to feed uh, but I did definitely just want to get some bracken up there. Um, I may just get a bit in the doorway here. I think that would look nice. Just around the base of the tree there. Maybe just one or two of these little ones over here. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Um, now, I know there was, yes, there was a corner here that I wanted to cover up. Uh, so that's going to be as simple as a big bit of arrowwood bush in there. Uh, and then actually I might just do, again, just a bit of bracken maybe back here. Maybe a little bit there. Hang on, I think I just need to sink that down a little bit actually. Yeah, there we go. It's tricky when you're on a, working on a slope like this because it just doesn't work. You can't really put many things. But I want to keep this bit cleared anyway. This is this is a nice open area for them. Uh, and then I will obviously do more down here. Oh, look, we've got a big old peacock talk going on. Nice. So what do I want to do down here? Well, firstly, I need to decorate the pond. I think they do swim, so I don't want to completely block it. Um, now one thing somebody did tell me and I think um, yes look we have the these pieces of because I'm always complaining that the the rocks aren't in the right colors so there are these packs that I've downloaded that have the rocks in lots of the colors that match the in-game things so let's plonk these down and I think they're all, yeah, they're done like like that. See this, this one here. Let's bring this over here. And let's split that from the group. So I think this will be the right sort of colour to go in here, wherever we are. I'm completely lost. <laughs> Hang on, here we are. Because it's nice and mossy as well which looks really cool so I'm thinking I might want to use this in here uh, let's duplicate that and start just copying it around a bit oops Hang on. Uh, yeah so I want uh, I want this pond to be usable still and I, I think if you sink these rocks in enough then um, it doesn't stop animals from swimming over the top of them I'm just going to double check that theory 
yes good they can still get in there and go over the top so I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep going with this stuff um, really decorate the base of the uh, the water area here Ooh, excuse that noise that was my phone going off somebody text me nothing exciting I'm sure um, okay good that's a good start okay so I want to get some normal rocks in as well not too many I just want a couple of small uh, formations around the outside you know just something simple like that um, something over here maybe one of them and one of them again I'm just trying to to get it looking like a nice wild natural area um, what space have we got over here yeah let's go about here with one of them and maybe one of these and no that's that same one uh, what have we got here no 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 none of them okay let's go with a small one and another small one there we go yeah that's all that needs I, I want plenty of areas where they can walk um, I think they should be able to climb on most of these rocks as well this one this one and this one yeah good they so they can they can climb on the rocks so it's great um, let's let's get some more bushes in I don't want to block the views of uh, either the animals or um, you know just the general scenery I want people to be able to see in and, and actually get around and see everything that's in here on the outside I'm going to go with um, with uh, flowers but um, yeah I do want a few little bits of hedging or something you know bits of bits of bush like this on the inside I think just looks nice around the rocks there good that's looking nice and then in the water itself um, actually let's continue I do want some more around here because it's all it is still all a bit too open here isn't it I will also put some um, I will put some what's the word I'm looking for some trees in as well all around this area yeah there will be trees but they will be the last thing to go in sort of the finishing details yeah I was going to do something here wasn't I blocking this bit off I might just put a log in there or I might just leave it I mean it it looks fine like it is I'm not going to worry too much like I said I'm not I'm not going for realism in this park am I so I'm not too fussed about that get a few of these I like these actually these look good kind of interspersed with uh, with whatever flowers I decide to put along the outside here yeah I think that would look really good it's a nice little bush this one excellent okay um, and the rest of this I think I might just do a, a few bits of bracken and then it, it'll mainly just be left open I think um, I don't you know I don't want it to look I don't want it to be crowded you know I want I want stuff in there but I also want plenty of space for the animals to get around and for them to be seen they've got plenty of space up here if they want to go and hide they've got the cave and they've got lots of foliage to hide in this is the area where people can really view them and that's looking really nice now actually um, so let's just get a few um, Ooh, what's the word I'm looking for um, what goes in the water reeds that's the word I'm looking for let's just get a few reeds in the water 
I do like these ones. These ones are great because they don't block the uh, traversable area, which is always something you have to consider when you're doing water. Ah, oh, look at that. Little Lynx having a swim. That's what we like to see. Excellent. Good. Let's let's continue here. Again, I don't want to overcrowd it. I think that's good. I might just get one bunch of these somewhere. Just let's have a look. Is that? Yeah, that's looking nice, isn't it? From out here, that's a good view. Now, look, you can you can really see in. Uh, but at the same time, it's looking quite natural, quite wild. Yeah, there's there's plenty going on in there, which I like. Nice. Right, um, pine trees. Let's do it. So, what did I use up here? It was the, the, the Himalayan, wasn't it? And the, the one that starts with a P that I can never remember, Ponderosa. Whoops. So, let's continue with that combination. So you've got the Himalayan. So I will get a few of these here and there, just dotted around. Um, actually, let's go for a different one. Let's go for one of these down in this corner here. And we've got the Ponderosa as well. I don't mind some of these actually on the outside as well. I might even get one coming out of the water, that'd be quite cool. Again, I don't want it crowded, but I do want it looking natural, you know. Yeah, I definitely feel like it's is that dense enough? I'm I, I'm trying to get the density of trees right. I feel like I need more over over here actually, and, and maybe even in this little little gap here I don't want it quite as open as I I'd left it just there see I could I can actually still get more out here let's get one quite close to that one you've got to remember in the wild that, that plants and trees sometimes grow too close to each other so sometimes you you know it's very easy when you're designing this sort of enclosure to put the trees all spaced out perfectly. Well, that's that's not how nature does it. Sometimes um, you, you'll often find that trees grow too close to each other and they don't grow very well because they're close to each other because they're sharing water in the ground, they're sharing space to grow, and they're they're sharing sunlight as well. Um, so it, it, it's very easy to make the mistake of spacing things out perfectly. So if you want your habitats to look natural. You you got to plant things wrong essentially, <laughs> you know. Try and try and try and think about that when you're when you're planning it out. So like here, I feel like I, I need another one just in here. So I'll put that one right next to this one. See all the the branches all touching each other, which is what they would do in the wild. You see. So even though it's not necessarily aesthetically pleasing. It is what it would look like in the wild, so it's it's worth doing. I think that's enough trees down here now. What I will just do is check the traversable area because trees can mess that up. So let's have a look. Good. They can still get around. They can still get through here. They can get on the rocks. They can get through the water. They can get to the here. It says there's a, uh, ooh, a jumpable escape route. Is that jumpable? Yes, it is. Is that because of this rock? Ah, it's because of this tree, isn't it? I think. Okay, I might just need to move that tree. Maybe if I just move the tree over like that. Let's try this again. If I can find a lynx. Where are you? Oh, sleeping. All right, let's have a look. Nope, still a jumpable escape route. It's not the tree. I think it's the rock. Okay, let me let me just. I'll move the rock in a second. I just wanted to check. Have I messed up? No. Look, they can still walk all the way down there, so that's fine. Yeah, and they can just get through here as well. Good. Okay, and they've got roots up the side there. Yes, good. Um, right. Actually, I think it's that rock then. In which case, 
let's move the tree back and let's move the rock down let's check that okay yeah there we go now there is not a jumpable escape route fantastic right oh I'm pretty pleased with this habitat now I think it's looking really nice um, I don't think I am going to do a shelter on here I don't think it needs it I may come back at some point in the future and decide to do a little a little shelter on there but for now I'm going to leave it as an open thing I will put some um, some benches or, or uh, picnic tables on there um, I still I still need to sort out these little corners as well and then just some other general decorating around the pathways I still got all these flowers to sort out around the edge here I've still got the top of the stream here to sort out with a bit of decorating get some foliage in this little gap here and in this gap here uh, I've got this gap here to sort out as well uh, and I've got lighting to do so there's there's still bits and pieces to do but we're nearly done we're nearly done with our lynx habitat um, but I am going to leave it there I think for this episode so please do let me know what you think if you've got any ideas not sure when I'll record my next episode it might well be tomorrow if I can squeeze another bit of recording time in I'm not too sure yet um, but yeah let me know what you think do you like my stream I like my stream I'm pretty happy with how this one's turned out considering I, I keep doing little waterfalls like this it's very hard to keep coming up with new design ideas <laughs> but I've, I've done sort of three different ideas so far and I think all of them look pretty good so I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it so yeah let me know what you think and if you've got any other sort of thoughts and suggestions and um, yeah and while, while I'm thinking about it I just want to thank you uh, again for all your support I really do love playing this game and making these videos um, I'd be doing it even if I didn't have a YouTube channel but the fact that I have a YouTube channel and I put these videos out there and, and so many of you are kind enough to watch and uh, and enjoy this series with me it really does mean a lot to me so thank you very much I look forward to doing these videos every single day I really do um, yeah so there we go great let's leave it there so thank you very much for joining me if you've enjoyed the episode and if you want to help out the channel you can hit the like button for me and of course you can subscribe if you haven't done that already and hopefully you can join me in the next episode where we will hopefully finish this episode uh, this sorry this habitat all the detailing on the pathways the flowers the, the stream at the top there all that sort of thing the lighting paths um, benches all that sort of stuff um, and then my next project I, I am going to move over to the lake this area here which is going to be uh, sea lions so they will hopefully come into this bit here and I will devise some kind of probably a rock border here like another dam but with rocks is my thinking uh, and then they will also come up to here and actually sort of have a beach area of some or something up here I'm not really sure but I'll try and paint this like a beach so that the sea lions can come up and sit all around here um, I love the idea of trying to make some sort of a, a big pirate ship but I'm not sure what pieces we have in the game that I can use for that but I love the idea of a big pirate ship in the middle here so that, that's a thought um, but my other project that I want to do is to redesign this restaurant here because quite frankly this one is terrible I never, I, I never finished it I was never happy with it uh, I've been saying for a little while that I want to redesign it and I've come up with a bit of an idea um, I want to theme it on bees and I know that's incredibly random and it is incredibly random it's just I don't know why I've just got the I, I, I've just got this sort of thing that I want to design a hexagonal restaurant with lots of cool hexagon and bee designs um, don't ask me why um, but I just do um, so that's what I, I want to have a go at doing here somehow some you know some way <laughs> I don't know how I've, I'm gonna have to basically demolish all of this and then start from scratch in this area um, I'm hoping I can keep this exhibit here because I do like this so it may be that it comes out a bit more it might be slightly bigger but I, I, yeah I've just got a bit of an idea basically of roughly how I want it to look um, so yeah and I, I want it to be like a conservation um, cafe 
you know with uh with lots of little um sort of flower beds where they grow their own vegetables and um i don't know like the little insect hotels and things like that uh i'm not really sure i've just it's just an idea and i just want to sort of make it up as I go along and see what i can do so that may well be my actual next project and then i'll go over and do the sea lions i think because i would like to finish that before i move on to another big habitat area um, but yeah next episode will be just finishing off around here first i think but anyway please do join me for that um so yeah until then take care and i will see you soon bye for now